Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel and your weekly reading. I'm Empress Rose. This is a very general reading. Feel free to check up on your um, moon rising and Venus signs. I'm assuming you're looking at this originally from your sun sign. So you can check all of those other signs to get more insight into other areas of your life. Um, I also do personal readings. Uh, you can just contact me with the email provided and um, so take what works for you leave what doesn't as with literally everything in life um, and you're the only one that knows that what's going to work for you and what doesn't and what your goals are and how you want to live your life so just pick the things that work for you leave what doesn't all these cards are pre-shuffled and prepared and prayed over before i even turn on the camera so we're going to start with the oracle of mystical moments for you dear aquarius to give an intuitive idea of where we're going with the main body of the reading Right, so what's Aquarius need to know? What's our dear darling Aquarius need to know? Amazing Aquarius friends, what do they need to know this week? Did you want to say something or what? Here, what's going on? Okay, okay good. I was going to like start having to take control of the situation because these cards are good. Oh, these are beautiful, bright cards. Look at that. Bright, bright cards. We have listen. We have a deep grounded energy, very deeply listening, very embedded in nature. Um, you're going outside and you are listening to, um, you're not just listening. It's a, such a sensitive card. You're so sensitive to the things around you. And there's so much growth up here. In some ways, you're very buried. You're a little bit buried in here, but you're listening to the roots grow. Um, and you're taking a time out from the sunshine here. And you've gone really deep into the grass and into the ground. And you're listening to the ants and the worms and the bugs. And um, there's some, there's, oh my gosh, there's a ladybug here. Um, and there's, there's a lot of activity going on on the surface, but you've decided to drop down and really ground in the earth and really listen to, you can almost hear those crackling, the roots as they're growing and, 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 um, you know, breaking open as they, they enlarge and you can almost hear these roots, um, crackling through the ground. She's got roots. She is roots. And she's intertwining with the other roots. So there's really something about roots going on here that I'm getting off this card. And really deep listening to, to all these little cracklings of growth. Um, a deep listening, a time out. There almost seems like there's a nap going on here. So there's some resting, some closing of the eyes, some, some choice, a choice to not, a very peaceful, intentional choice to not listen to the stuff going on on the surface, to not see everything going on even though it can be very beautiful you've, you've you're taking a little nap a little break from all of the activity and you're just being very quiet and listening um, very closely and i feel like it's really amazing you the pleasant sounds of, of this growth all around you of your own growth too i feel like you can hear your own roots growing a very peaceful card. It's a, it's a rest in peace card, but I wouldn't say there's any dying going on. There's just a temporary timeout. Very peaceful. And then under my umbrella. So this is also a quiet card. Um, we have this deluge going on, but you're protecting this, this precious message, this idea that's very precious to you. You're very protective of it. Um, and I feel like, like there's some silence, like you're not talking about this idea. You're not talking about this, this thing. It's both, it's carrying you along. It's like a hope that's carrying you along. Um, and you're also protecting it and keeping it very much to yourself. But, um, you have this, it's, it's here to move you forward. This dream, this vision, this idea, this instinct. I get a lot of instinct from both of these cards. And you're, you're really listening to your instincts and you are pr very protective of them right now. Uh, this bird could fly away. This bird could leave you in the dust. This bird is, could communicate, could 
um, say some things, but it's not right now. It's a very, I'm getting a silent card. In fact, I'm, what I'm feeling on this card is, is just that we're hearing the rain, the, the rain come down and we're sitting in our silence, sitting with this instinct and just vibing with it, just, uh, protecting it. And, and in this card, I can he almost hear the rain hitting the, hitting the window that we're looking out at, hitting the umbrella. That's that beautiful sound of rain on the umbrella. Um, so both of these, I'm getting so much sound off of them. The rain, the growth, the roots. There's something about sound going on with you this week. It's going to be very healing. You're going to find some very healing sounds. All right. Uh, Santa Muerte deck for the main body of the reading. I've already pre-shuffled these, of course. All right, for our Aquarius. This is your past, this is your present, this is your inner landscape, this is what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, your possible outcome. Okay, so in your recent past, we have I know it's not fair. I see the cards and I have a reaction to them and I can't like tell you it all at once. So but we're going to go on a little journey and I'm telling you there's going to be some stuff in this journey that you're going to like. So we have this um, in your recent past, you have this nine of pentacles. This is an accomplishment of some sort of earthly thing. There's some sort of um, you've accomplished a financial goal. You've accomplished some sort of um, goal with your assets, with your properties. You've accomplished a goal and you are not resting on your laurels. Upward and onward. What next? So this is a, okay, I got that. I won the prize. And now what's the next competition look like? Because I would like to go join that one too. So this is you looking forward to the future um, with a lot of hope and with some with some success under your belt. Some of your endeavors in the recent past have been very successful and you are looking to expand on those and looking to expand your little farm, expand your garden, expand, you know, whatever it is that brings you the sustenance and the and the things that you need in life in order to keep your corporeal being going. In the present moment, we have a page of cups. So we have a lot of learning, a lot of curiosity about a certain emotion. You're not sharing this. Oh my God, I'm getting that with this, with both of these. You're not sharing, you're not exposing um, your feelings. You're just exploring in them. You have a lot of curiosity about what, what am I feeling? This is like, um, she, you know, it's dripping through the spoon and it's almost like, the candying process where you're checking to see like have we got to the right temperature is it the right viscosity for me to make my little candies so this is what you're you're learning about some making some candies making some um out of your emotions you know you're learning about your emotions you're taking their temperature you're wondering if they're set yet if um if they're if if things are settled yeah you're very curious about them it's a very calm curiosity. Um, and then in your inner landscape, you have this three of cups. I believe Libra got this. This is like, um, this. what's so curious about this card to me is that it's a card of celebration usually, um, a card of friends coming together, but that's not happening. It's in your inner landscape. So there's some sort of like, joy or celebration you yourself and you are having um are you drinking alone no these cups are full of light these cups are full of light and love and you're celebrating something there's some broken heart there's a broken heart here on the table but there is a lot of passion too and there's a whole celebration there's a lot of there's thing there's movement so you're having your inner landscape is is having a lot of movement and, and is unsettled. And maybe that's why you're looking at these emotions so carefully because they're new to you or there's there's some movement there. There's something new going on here and you're, you're joining with some friends to celebrate. But this is all sort of an internal vibe, which I'm very curious about. I'm not sure. Um, there's This can sometimes be like a third party card. I really don't like the meaning that meaning of the card because it's 
it just seems weird that every time we see it, I don't know. I won't complain about other people, but um, but this is a celebration. But I do see a possibility for maybe cheating on yourself or betraying yourself um, in, a, in an effort to enjoy yourself. You're actually might be uh, weakening your connection to yourself. Um, and I think that that is a way that we can take this card too. Um, but connecting to yourself, I think this also could be a joyful connection to yourself. That's making sense to me. A joyful connection to yourself, to parts of yourself. You are maybe reuniting with a part of yourself that, that you've left, left off for a while. So that's in your inner landscape. At issues, this Knight of Wands, this is a, a charge forward energy and we're taking it in the reverse meaning, which is a, um, a, a way charge forward, a recklessness. So, so something that may be causing problems in your life right now is a recklessness. Um, and maybe that's coming in, in here too with this um, relationship with yourself and and a possible recklessness going on here this is a charge forward energy and this is a charge forward completely blinding letting the horse do all the work without thinking about it without it's too much there's you the the issue is is too much charging forward too much pushing too much um uh acting before we think um, which can be fine sometimes. We can act before we think if the spirit moves. But this is way too much. This is irresponsible acting before we think, talking before we think. Um, we're not, this is when, this is someone that's not, or a situation that's not protecting their, their mind and their words, but is, is, is charging into battle fairly unprepared. Uh, so that's, that's an issue that might be holding you back and causing some problems. In your environment, uh, no, yeah, in your environment, we have the Two of Pentacles. So we have the Two of Pentacles represents a constant eternal juggling act, um, a constant eternal negotiation between two things. Um, in order to function like a butterfly, these two things need to see eye to eye. And this card is usually a card about. Uh, trying to find that balance, not being in that balance in the moment, but working on it, attempting to find a, an agreement um, where we can see eye to eye. So in your environment, you're attempting to negotiate something. It's a difficult negotiation. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You've done it before. It's sort of an eternal reoccurring theme in your life. So you would know what this is. This this. You know, is it work-life balance negotiation? Is it negotiation negotiating with a partner or a friend? Is it is it a negotiation with yourself? There's one part of you that wants to recklessly charge forward and do things, and another part of you that that wants to chill out at the bar with yourself and just celebrate some good times. So these two things, you could you could be having parts of your personality that you're juggling, um, parts of your home life. This is pentacles, so it could be more related to work and to resources, and you're having to juggle those right now. You've been there before, you know, you know the drill that you just have to juggle that shit sometimes. Um, in your to-do list, this is why I was happy or excited, or is the lovers. I mean, it's not always about lovers, but it kind of is. Um, this is a deeply loving uh, relationship to something. So it could be another person. It could be um, a, a career path or something like that. Um, but it is sort of this divinely guided love and it's in your to-do list. So your to-do list is to take this key that's being gifted to you and open up this opportunity for a path of passion. Um, and not I don't mean passion like destructive passion or uh, cheating passion or whatever that is. Um, I mean passion like it's the road less traveled. It's got no guarantees. I think you've gotten this card before um, recently. Um, it's got no guarantees. There's no, there's, it's a path of intuition, um, which is really important. Um, there are oftentimes two paths we can, well, there's more than two paths, but oftentimes we're juggling a, a choice between a career that's, um, there are certain careers where, where logic doesn't come into it. 
Uh, that's what I want to say, where there's some careers that, that you need to use logic to apply to them and, and they are choices that are made very logically. And then there are other careers where there's no guarantee of success, but in those careers, uh, the only way you can be successful in those careers is by having good instincts. So if you're doing an, a, an equation about something, this is saying, fuck your equation, listen to your instincts, listen to the career or the path or the person that maybe doesn't look obvious, doesn't pan out on paper, um, but if your instincts are, are being very clear to you, um, then then go go with that, go with that other place. And I think that that's actually what we're looking at right here with these two cards. Um, that's funny, when I got my drink of water, this card with the, the rain card got all wet. Um, so deep, you know, I was telling you about a deep listening here, and that's how you make this decision, is really getting in touch, deeply listening to your own growth, deeply listening to your own ideas and inspiration and instincts. And what's blocking you, this could be in the reverse, honestly. The reverse could be not charging forward. I'm sorry if that's confusing, but you'll know if you're charging forward or if you're holding back too much. Um, so this could be needing to have more energy that charges forward because we're really talking about your to-do list is to unlock, um, to go with the path of heart, to go with the path that's not not most obvious, but but is is a deep passion. And you're supposed to be listening deeply to your intuition and being a little protective of it because these passion projects um, don't always... Uh, have the best reception with more uh, logical thinking people with your with your accountants or your people that enjoy the pro con list and that kind of thing um, oftentimes don't understand a life of intuition that's okay we all have like uh, different ways of being in the world so it's fine if people don't understand that um, so that, that's your to-do list is to come into that energy where you're willing, you're looking for the key to unlock this passionate uh, new situation, this, this place of heart that maybe isn't well understood by others. Um, maybe that's why you're celebrating here. Your inner landscape is hanging out with yourself, hanging out with yourself and uh, enjoying who you are. Um, and this, this leads you to this path of heart. So a possible outcome here is this King of Swords. So this could be you or this could be someone in your life. This is a king. This is someone who has a lot of, wields a lot of power over communication and ideas. Um, they're fair. They've been through it. They've seen it all. And they're not bitter about it. Uh, but they are, they're very fair. They hold this sword. Uh, they're willing to speak the truth. They're willing to, um, they're very, they have sharp ideas um, and they have a lot of uh, self-possession and their ideas are, um, they know how to wield their ideas. There are beautiful designs all over the sword that I did not notice before. Um, sort of floral curly cues. This is really beautiful. The sword, uh, one of my favorite things is um, is armor and and some of the the medieval armor stuff where they spent so much energy and time and resources decorating these um, these items of war and so this is a really well decorated sword it's it's full of flowers so we've reached some sort of balance in our ideas and in, in, in our communication we're able to communicate very beautifully so this is someone that's coming into your life or this is an energy that you're headed towards of someone who's able to communicate very beautifully and has put that extra effort into um, into bringing beauty into a, a place where there usually isn't any, um, bringing beauty into uh, into these um, implements of war and battle and protection, um, very beautifully being able to protect yourself, being able to stand up for yourself and being a master of that. Um, so that's an energy that you're going to. Um, and this lovers, you need to unlock maybe an unusual solution, um, not the obvious way. Unlock, uh, unlocking love, um, unlocking the ability to decorate the sword, to have your words both 
uh, be true, be beautiful, and um, be true and beautiful. And I feel like as you're unlocking this heart, um, this is what's gonna this is what's gonna open up is this ability to decorate your your self defense and to to make your self defense a very beautiful thing. Um, and maybe this is your inner landscape situation here. You've got you're becoming friends with yourself, um, and you're. You're opening up this love for yourself and this friendship, this deep friendship with your own self so that you can defend yourself and you're defending yourself in love and, and in beauty. And I think that this lover's card is going to bring you there, is going to unlock some, something for you to do that. So either you need to get going on this or you need to like slow it down a bit and listen more closely to your intuition but there's so much listening to yourself and loving yourself I mean she's really loving listening to her own growth and her own hair so I see a lot of um, a lot of listening to your own self and valuing what your instinct has to say I mean this is a real valuing card he's protecting this bird in this deluge and he's getting wet himself so there's something you're value you're learning you're growing in a way where you're appreciating yourself more and more and you you're hanging out with yourself uh, as we all are these days but you're enjoying yourself and you're learning how to to love yourself and defend yourself in this really um beautiful kind generous way um all right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful for you. Um, please, again, like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate um, what you've done so far to help my baby channel grow. I really appreciate that. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week.